Hey everyone, today I'm gonna be giving you my favorite matcha latte recipe. So let's get right on into it. First things first, we're gonna do what takes the longest and start by boiling the water. Got my very traditional kettle right here. Gonna fill this up with some water. I'm probably only gonna fill up like this much because to be honest, we don't need a lot. Okay, so next I'm gonna start on the matcha. I actually have a matcha kit, so I'll show you guys that quickly. I have this bowl, this, and the whisk. So this is like the actual one they use for traditional matcha. And then it comes with a whisk, not to mention this cute fabric that I'm gonna put underneath. The next thing that you're gonna need is matcha. Take one teaspoon of matcha and sift it through. Next, you're gonna take salt. Put about this much into your hand and then add it in honestly i'm actually going to use a little bit less than the amount i poured in so i have about <laughs> sorry i had about that much extra okay now that our water is finished boiling we're going to add it into the matcha safety first guys <laughs> so you may be thinking how much water should i be adding into the bowl well it really depends on how much matcha of course you want to make when i add the matcha mixture into the glass it is around that much next take your whisk and whisk your matcha. The key thing to making a good matcha is that you don't want any of the grain from the matcha powder to be at the bottom of your drink. I'm not gonna say any names. It wasn't Starbucks or anything, but I went to go get a matcha the other day, like literally yesterday. They gave me this much, $6.00 that much was an iced matcha lolly. The matcha mixed with the ice, so probably only like that much was matcha. Anyways, get to the bottom of the drink. All along the bottom is just grains of matcha because it wasn't whisked into the water while it was hot. And I was just like, you're joking me, but whatever. <laughs> Pro tip, just get all of that mixed in while the water's hot, because once the water's cold, it's not mixed in. It is now time to add the flavor. Gotta make this matcha tasting amazing. So, vanilla extract, and we're gonna add this in. I know this isn't just me, but I use the top of the container as my measuring spoon, if you will. I'm gonna fill about half of that with vanilla extract, maybe even a third. I don't know if that was too much. I'm gonna add that in. I like to think that's around half a teaspoon. Once the vanilla extract's in, you can whisk that together. TBH, guys. I might add a little bit more. Now, it's fine if you add more water, as long as you're at the stage where the water is hot. Next thing that's going to add so much flavor is honey. Let's take like half a tablespoon of that. I kind of do add way too much honey, so don't judge me <laughs> for using so much. Mm, so good. So like... That much I'm gonna add in. Look at that drip. Once that's in, mix that in really well because it will eventually dissolve into the water. Okay guys, now is for my favorite part, assembly. First things first, take out your glass. Start by pouring in your matcha. Guys, this is the scariest part for me because every single time spills everywhere. But today for the video, my precision, gonna be off the walls. Let's try to pour this in. Okay, we almost got it. We almost got it, guys. <laughs> now let's add the ice. I like to fill it up about this much with ice just until the drink has about, I'd say an inch before the top. Yeah, now while the ice is in, this is gonna cool down super quickly. Take your milk. Guys, I'm using coconut milk because I can't have dairy and I also can't have oats at the moment. It kind of sucks. Usually I would make this with oat milk. Okay, so most of these tips, I've been teaching you how to eye it. I eye the coconut milk by the color of the matcha after I pour it in. I also take my straw that I'm gonna use to mix it up. When I find the perfect shade, I will let you guys know. Honestly, here's the thing. Coconut milk in matcha. If you are not using like a thick coconut milk, like you know the ones that come in the containers, right? You won't get that same matcha flavor, whereas if you use oat milk, regular milk, etc. I would recommend coconut milk, but this stuff is really thin. Not to take away from the fact that this is absolutely like my foolproof matcha recipe. I've been using this matcha recipe for probably two years. It does not fail me. <laughs> now that most of the ice is melted, go and add some more in. If you're making an ice matcha, 
Atlanta. Having it freezing cold is better than lukewarm. No one can tell me otherwise. Gonna fill that up. And there you have it. Mmm, so good. So, so good. Now for the last section of the video, quick tips and tricks. Firstly, how much milk you add in will change how strong your matcha tastes. If you add a little bit of milk, your matcha will taste way more strong and potent than if you add a lot of milk, which weakens the flavor. Second, feel free to add in more matcha or less matcha than a teaspoon. All it does is differ how strong your matcha is gonna taste. You can also try using maple syrup instead of honey. I've actually never tried using maple syrup before, but a lot of people have said it's really good. And good fact to know is that if you make a hot matcha latte versus a cold matcha latte will actually change the flavor of the matcha. When I have a hot matcha latte, I go in knowing that it's not going to taste the same than if I get it iced. Last thing I'm going to do is tell you seven proven ways matcha tea improves your health. I'm getting this information from healthline.com. Again, for the last two years since I started getting into the whole healthy eating thing, I've been using Healthline to get all my information. So starting with the first benefit, it's high in antioxidants. Matcha contains antioxidants, which may reduce cell damage and prevent chronic disease. Two, may help protect the liver. Some studies have shown that matcha could prevent liver damage and decrease the risk of liver disease. However, additional studies are needed to look at the effects on humans in the general population. Three, boosts brain function. Matcha has been shown to improve attention, memory, and reaction time. It also contains caffeine and l via 9, which can improve several aspects of brain function. Four, may help prevent cancer. Test tube and animal studies have found that the compounds in matcha may inhibit the growth of cancer cells. Five, may promote heart health. Studies show that green tea and matcha can decrease several heart disease risk factors. Six, helps you lose weight. Some studies show that green tea extract helps increase metabolism and fat burning, both of which may aid weight loss. Seven, matcha tea is easy to prepare. There are so many ways to prepare matcha, like the one that I showed you guys, so you can choose the one you like best. It's mine. It can also be incorporated into a range of different recipes. And that is so true. I've also heard of like matcha brownies and matcha cookies, matcha in smoothies. I actually had like a really bad experience with matcha in smoothies, but that story is for another time. And that is all for today's video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Bye guys.